Nigerian government has secretly requests UAE to deport over 500 Nigerians. I don't know how true this is, but let's find out. <laughs> Let us in detail. In a shocking turn of events, more than 500 Nigerians were arrested, detained, and deported from the United Arab Emirates UAE at the request of the Nigerian government. According to a multiple report, Nigerians were picked up from various locations, including homes, workplaces, groceries, stores, eateries, and shops without any explanation. They were held in detention in 13 days before being deported to Abuja. Upon arrival in Nigeria, the deportees were kept in a camp for about 48 hours, after which they were given 50,000 50, naira each to return to their respective destinations. Many of those affected had their families scattered and livelihood disrupted. Several deportees reported when they asked UAE officials why they have been deported, they were told it is your government that wants you back home, not our problem. This revelation has sparked outrage as it appears that the Nigerian government requested the deportation specifically for its citizens, while those from other countries were not affected. The deported Nigerians were even segregated from the nationalities before being placed on the Nigerian government plane and flown back to Nigeria. The reasons behind the government the reason behind the Nigerian government request remained unclear, leaving many to question the rationale behind the decision and its impact on the lives of hundreds of Nigerian citizens. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, this story is not believable. UAE. No, no. I don't want, no, no, no. This story is too cheap or reasonable and loose to believe. Yeah, I can't believe Judge Handos believe this thing hook, line, and sinker. I basis is fake news to blackmail the government as there is no physical evidence. The government does not even need to be blackmailed, if you ask me. That they were kept in a camp in, the, in which area of Abuja no one has come in contact with any of the 500 victims who have relatives. Why didn't other media houses carry this news? Let the government react to this news and if it is false. Should go against them, um, pose who put this news out. Nigerian government wants Nigerians to suffer so that those who are able to escape from here, they are forcing them back. Yes, it's very okay. Shebi, we at home cannot fight for ourselves. Let them join us to bring them down. This very government, as she will record them. Sincerely, I don't know why Why would this happen or so why would somebody put out this type of news is why I'm asking myself this question. Why are newsmen setting out this life to discredit who, to, to discredit who, to damage the country? I think the source of this kind of news should be investigated and made to pay the necessary price. This is why I don't listen to news again because see what is happening on social media is even worse. How do you even know it is lies? With this government, there is nothing they cannot do to ensure that people suffer as my brother. How true is this story? Which UAE officials told you so? Is it today that Nigerians have been deported in mass? Don't give a dog a bad name just because you want to kill a dog. Deportation of Nigerians is a regular occurrence under, under different government. A debased nationhood. No respect or regard for anything in Nigeria. Shameless government, incompetent diaspora commission that will be found wanting when it matters the most. If this is true, it is very wicked and senseless of a government. What are they coming back to do? Exactly, if this is found out to be true, I am not going to, as in, I am going to be so pissed at the government. Like this person as waiting that they can't, can't do. Are they coming to sell gari or rice? Ha! Now, wow! He is setting up himself for a revolution because with his misgovernance, this army of disenchanted Nigerians will see all the ranks of Nigerians sing, sitting with hang, anger and ready to get his height. If he was bringing them to a country he has fixed, it would have been understandable. But with the way he has ruined the economy, this move turns out to be so... Okay, this move con will be counterproductive. God will ensure it turns out so because this was done in, the, in bad faith. Sincere, like I said, if this news is, is fake, I don't get issue. But better make sure say person will start the news. What in the fine way start this kind of news? But if this is news, this news is real. Uh -huh. There have a lot of uh, what's it called questioning to answer. 
I saw great thinking and good use of analytical intelligence in your writer of comparing yours to the caption above. Show the writer is not only a disparaging campaign but falsehood with weak hearsay evidence. Do you see why I kept saying that Nigeria is not a country rather than a British company? Every country in the world protects lives and properties, but the so called zoo destroy lives and properties. One of those repartee shall become their nightmares. Very childish, senseless, wicked, cruel, and satanic thinking. You think UAE is like this hopeless and extremely corrupt country called Nigeria? Don't Nigeria government see how beautiful, neat, and loving UAE is? Fools, make a country good so that Nigerians will stay put here. Can this be true? Let us take a random sample of those who were deported and ask what they were doing as their work before they were rounded up. That is why I'm saying if it is true, you're not going to find out what kind of work are they doing, what exactly are they leaving, were they troublesome, you understand, that kind of a thing. It does not even give, it does not give the right that they are going to be deported. Let us find out if it is true or not, sure. Can this be true? Let us take a random sample of those that were deported and ask them what they were doing before they were rounded up. Do they have genuine papers? Were they sleeping about as they are now doing in Canada? Are they into internet fraud because man mothers have formed themselves into association of your home mothers? Can the Nigerian government have asked the UAE government to deport her citizen without an offense? Let me ask Sabre W. Ariba what transpired. You actually try the best in exonerating this APC clueless, insensitive, selfish, and kleptocratic government. This is not the first time this kind of thing is happening. Your government gave them 50000 to go back to their destination while they live extravagantly at the expense of the citizenry. They live lavishly and ask citizens to sacrifice and bear to suffocating policies, but they subjected to people that Abike is a government. I have a case a government agent who will always defend her master even if things are not okay. I know you have formed the opinion which is why you are and okay, which is what you're entitled to. No matter how long lies may thrive, the truth will surely come out exactly. All right. Nigerian government is the enemy of progress. How many Nigerians have the government sponsored abroad that they're deporting people back? My dear, help me ask. Go. I hope the people deported are not staff of federal government who did not follow due process before leaving the job and flying abroad. The government promise of bringing them to book. They're in abroad and still collecting salary in Nigeria. Well, if that's the case, then at least. But let us really even find out. Hmm? We are going to find out with time. Okay. All right, I'm only laughing after this government must have finished with the citizens. The citizens themselves will realize that the worst thing that can happen to any country is to have an amber bar and a drug baron who is suffering from dementia as their president. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy.